uh, daily caffeine consumption. This person goes after a few weeks of consumption, the negatives start to outweigh the positive ones. They're getting poor quality sleep, lack of appetite, anxiety. And when they don't consume caffeine, they find it a lot easier to be mindful and their meditation practice is much better, but they're lethargic and less motivated. Okay, so what they're describing are all the classic symptoms of caffeine overuse and the classic pattern of withdrawal from caffeine when they stop taking it. So they're no longer getting the performance enhancing effect of caffeine, so they're taking it just to be normal or feel like they can focus normally and have normal amounts of energy. But then if they try and come off, they feel worse. Okay, there are a couple ways to do this. You can taper your caffeine intake off over the course of four to seven days, but most people don't have the discipline or don't want to spend the time doing that. But if you want to, the way you would do that is you would cut it by about 10 or 15% per day. You could do that by volume, or you could do that by concentration of coffee, that sort of thing. A simpler way to go about all this that still will allow you to get some of the performance enhancing effects of caffeine and yet experience far less withdrawal would be two things. First of all, just have your amount of caffeine intake for two or three days. So again, that could be by volume or it could be by concentration, probably easiest to do by volume. And so instead of drinking an eight ounce coffee in the morning, maybe you do four ounces of regular coffee, four ounces of decaf, or you just have the four ounces of coffee. You do that for three or four days, and then you take perhaps one full day off from caffeine, maybe another full day off. You're going to feel a lot less bad on those two days, having cut your caffeine intake in half in the previous four days than you would if you just went cold turkey. And then you go back to ingesting caffeine, but you go back to ingesting caffeine at that 50% dose or what used to represent that 50% dose of caffeine for you. And you just continue that way on a daily basis. And then every once in a while, when you want the performance enhancing effects of caffeine, you go back to what was your original dose, which is now double what you're taking on a, on a daily basis. So what we're really talking about here is not going cold turkey. We're not talking about quitting caffeine indefinitely. What we're talking about is cutting the amount of caffeine that you drink in half for about four days, okay, plus or minus a day, and then taking two days off from caffeine completely, and then going back on that half dose of caffeine indefinitely. That's your new baseline of caffeine intake. And then every once in a while, if you need a bit more of a lift, you ingest twice as much caffeine or a coffee that's twice as concentrated.